Hi everybody, welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So today I'm basking in deep blue light because um, you can change the light in here for uh, light therapy healing while you're sweating it out in infrared heat. It's about 134, I have about 50 minutes or so to go and um, this is where I really get to the heart of my own spiritual questions and experiences that I need clarity on. And so um, there's been an ongoing theme this year about realizing things that are no longer working, relationships, especially projects, but everything to do with relationships and your interactions. And um, it's taken really this whole year of dealing with so many transitional energies and so many things that have felt unsettling and um, really addressing relationship relationship and or um, issues that we continue to involve ourselves in that are not really for our higher good. And, you know, the, the trick to becoming more conscious and you know spiritually on our path is to ad really address and acknowledge the things that are holding us back and so if we don't even know what's holding us back then how are we going to move forward because we're not going to be able to change those things right so this year was a year of getting to the meat and the heart of what really no longer serves us and it's been a difficult task and it's been hard to look at and it's been um, coupled with you know really stressful times stressful situations stressful political climate just the whole thing has felt like a ball of what but stress this whole year um, certainly with all my clients and I can attest to it myself so the energy is still, you know, as we come to the end of the year, very much that same message. Now that we've addressed the things that no longer serve us and are holding us back and that we keep repeating over and over to our own demise, we have to really um, like get to the point where we're ready to stop. Just ready to let all of those things go because now we understand how detrimental they are to us, right? So if you keep putting yourself in a position that is gonna hurt you, you know, who's the idiot, right? So coming into this new year, it's gonna be about letting go and it's gonna start at, on the solstice or around the solstice. The energy of the solstice is always like a really huge new chapter. And I feel like there's right now, there's all this certainly astrologically a lot of water energy which is all these emotions and still getting to the bottom of how we feel about all this stuff but we know in our hearts that it's not working whatever it is and it's like stop the cycle and so this new year is all about just like uh, the phoenix it's like almost that's going to be my mantra for the new year being like the phoenix and really rising and it's perfectly symbolic with the, at least in Southern California, this fire situation that we'd had to deal with. So it's like rising from the ashes, you know, really taking the year's lessons and letting them go, becoming the new, complete, whole, reborn person out of all of this trial and tribulation and heartache, transition, unknowing, da da da, everything. Take all that and just literally rise to the new you that is so wanting to come out and that you so know. It's all about fear, you know. Really, that is letting go of these things. It's just about the fear of the unknown. And the, and the world out there can be scary and, and a lot of things that we don't have and maybe dealt with. And so it's like, oh, well, let's just hold on to, you know, what we've had and what we were, even though it's terrible for us. So what is it? It's about being confident in your own self and your faith and spirit to leave what's not working and move into the new you that knows exactly what's going to work for you and exactly what's going to lead you to your highest potential in this incarnation. 
okay, so I'm going to meditate now. I'm going to meditate on that being for myself to let go of these things that no longer serve me and to really focus on what brings me joy and really boosts my spirit and expands my consciousness and heals my soul. And I'm going to pray that everyone has that in their life, especially as we come into the end of this year. I'm starting to really sweat now. 130. It's over 100. When it's over 131, then it's not it's like, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, blessings to you all. Blessings, blessings, blessings. And please subscribe. Please call me for a reading. I want to be of service as much as I can in these turbulent times, baby. All right, so peace. <laughs>